Okay, we're going to move swiftly on. Will you please welcome? Uh, I don't think he's been around quite as long as the other. But he is brilliant. His name is Tadawa Malalunge. <laughs> Diverse. Uh, hi. I mean, you guys. Uh, how are you guys doing? You all right? Yeah. Awesome. My name is Tadio Mashlunge. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. Uh, <laughs> don't want to offend anybody. Uh, I hate the names of my family. I hate the names of my family a lot. Like, my younger sister's name is Sarah. My older sister's name is Mildred. My mother's name is Yvonne. My grandmother's name is Doreen. My name is Tadio Anashe. You know, am I supposed to feel like the chosen one? Like. I guess who's chosen the most of the airports in the family? Uh, our cousin Ahmed. But, uh, <laughs> a lot of fun. Try to be a good brother, it's difficult sometimes. Like, uh, my younger sister's 10, I'm 23, and my older sister is uh, 34. Uh, don't know why mum only fucks once a decade. <laughs> but I know she's passed that on to me. Fun. It was good in the playground. It was good in the playground. Kids would make fun of me, like, oh, Tad, I shagged your mum. Oh, I shagged your mum. I was like, it is not the year of the cock, my friend. Uh, <laughs> look at where the moon is in the sky. Check the horoscopes. You can't have fucked my mum. Uh, <laughs> kind of fun. Uh, try to be a good brother. It's interesting sometimes, you know, like, uh, my youngest is so young, you know, uh, she likes to call me dad a lot because uh, my name is Tad and she's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> A little while back, we're in Westfield. Uh, I was talking to, I'd, like, I'd gone off and talked to a girl. It's going quite well. So my little sister finds me. She goes, uh, hey, Dad, I've been looking for you everywhere. So I try to save the situation. I go, Sarah, don't call me Dad in public. No context for the other girl. No information. I just look like an abusive father. <laughs> Without skipping a beat, my sister turns. She's like, hey, Mom, I found Dad. My mom goes, oh, son, there you are. <laughs> It was the most Norfolk experience of my entire life. It looked, it looked like I'd abandoned my family to cheat on my mum, uh, which ironically is just like my dad. So, uh, hey, if you don't laugh, it's just trauma. Okay, all right. <laughs> don't do the, the uh, outdoor anymore. I do the, uh, the, the apps. The apps are good. Uh, like, uh, if you're going well, I went on a date recently for the purpose of this joke, and uh, <laughs> I got this coronavirus. I, uh, I went on a date. It's the last date I went on uh, before I met my current girlfriend. It was a Tinder date. First date, there was an American girl. She was like, so Tadawa, what made you swipe right on me? And I was like, it was your pretty blue eyes. And I said, what made you swipe me? And she went, uh, well, you're black, but safe. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And uh, as I stuffed her in the back of my van, I thought, <laughs> dude, you have severely misjudged uh, my bloodlust. Because once you go black, you never come back. That's my rule <laughs> for love and life. I've killed a lot of women. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> Netflix. All right. So uh... <laughs> that joke does not go down well in uh, Kensington. Uh, I did a joke. Uh, I was doing a gig in Kensington. I was talking to a girl after the gig. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed a trend, uh, but it doesn't go well. <laughs> I, uh... Talking to the girl, and uh, she was like, uh, I, I liked all your material until you said, like, you did, did, did the whole, like, I'm black thing, you know? I feel like it's been done before. I was like, uh, well, yeah, that's how we have black people. <laughs> <laughs> kind of how that works. And she was like, you know what I mean? Like, whenever a black comic goes on, they always talk about being black. Like, you don't see all the white comedians talking about how white they are. I was like, uh, you know, that's fair, that's true, you know? Uh, but tonight, I did see, like, seven different white comedians uh, talking about uh, veganism and uh, hummus, uh, the Duke of Edinburgh Award, uh, Longshore Drift, and studying at Durham University. So uh, I feel like it came up implicitly a bit, you know? That's the fun thing about being white. When you're white, you don't have to say, I'm white, to say, I'm white. You just have to be James A. Caster. And uh, <laughs> it comes through implicitly. Oh, I'm nervous. Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> True. Um, it's interesting, but I get where she's coming from. I get where the impulse is. The impulse is like, you know, she doesn't want to seem racist or be racist, you know, because uh, she thinks, you know, I don't treat black people any differently, so black people aren't treated any differently. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Um, and I get it. I get where she's coming from with that, you know. I totally get it. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm black. It's going to come up in my stand-up. I'm talking about my life. Um, it's, it, I, I, I don't like these people. That are, some people are a little bit too not racist for my liking. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Like some people, you know those people, like, they won't even say someone's race, even when it's descriptive and useful. So they start trying to like act out the race and it ends up being way worse. You seen these people? Uh, my friend Daisy, you know, she, she, got, she got catcalled, you know, she's walking in South London, she got harassed. So I was like, hey, what does the guy look like so we can ID him? And she was like, well, he was like, you know, now nah, I'm saying. <laughs> He was like, you know, <laughs> no, what did he look like? I have no idea. He was like, you know, <laughs> I was like, oh, he was Chinese. First coronavirus, now this. All right, I've been Tabo Lunga. You guys have been great. Thank you very much. Tabo Malalunga, he was good, wasn't he? You're just looking at me like, oh, you nodded, well done. And the rest of you just went, don't talk to the old woman, she might sit on your lap. I will. 